and throw the post notification to the Piano Thinker Chess Podcast. Don't tell the FBI, and- but I'm about to do something illegal. I'm changing my mind. You see, 22 months ago, I posted a video called The Worst YouTuber. And in this video, I discussed a man named In and A Productions, jungle. who I believed at the time was the worst YouTuber on the platform. At least when strictly speaking about content. I mean, there's people on this platform that make videos advocating for bleach enemas, so there's definitely worse people on the platform. But I meant strictly looking at it from a content perspective, I believed he was pumping out nothing but straight painful hemorrhoids for the viewer to look at. I no longer stand by that opinion. I'm going to share with you the story of in a Productions, a story of shame, horror, tears, and redemption. Before getting into this, I feel I unfortunately need to remind people not to fucking harass people I make videos about. So please stop doing that shit. Let me start by sharing my video from 22 months ago when I first discovered and covered his channel. Now, he makes the same video every time. Every video is exactly the same, and I'm not using that as an exaggeration, like, oh, he pumps out the same type of content. He makes the exact same video every single time, just with one detail changed. He says the exact same things verbatim in every single video, regardless of what the video's title is. He does the exact same things. It's all so incredibly formulaic, and nothing changes from video to video, except the very end where he changes the scale. <laughs> now, this is very important, because at the time when I made that video, NNA Productions had been copy and pasting the exact same video videos over and over again. The man was just fucking copying his own homework and farming views off the YouTube Kids app. Now, when I say copy and pasting, it's not like he was actually just reusing clips. He would do all of this shit from scratch, but do it the exact same way. It was kind of impressive to not get bored doing that constantly, but also equally disgusting. Now, I'm happy to say 22 months later, he is still doing the exact same shit with no change whatsoever. It is so fucking incredible. What was once his Achilles heel has now become his saving grace. It is wrapped around from being the worst YouTuber to the strongest, most persistent YouTuber I've ever seen in my life. This man has been attacked by tons of YouTubers. He made a video doing this shit for Etika's death. Terrible, despicable, shameless garbage. And not even the backlash from that was enough to have him go back to the drawing board and reevaluate his formula. Oh, he yikes. kept doing the same thing, the same video every time. He's like a robot who's been programmed to only make one thing. And no matter how hard he tries, he cannot defy his destiny, his purpose, his creation. He's like a record player that's constantly skipping on the same beat, forced oh, to do that, this that, that, perpetual funny, song and dance without any variations because he can't. He is the Derek Zoolander of YouTubers. He only has one look, What's one piece of content that he's been milking the fuck out of for three years, but not even successfully milking it because there's nothing left. It has gone well beyond dry. It's been dead for fucking three years now, mm-hmm. but he is still going. It'd be like trying to milk your grandmother's ass, but all you're getting is these dusty fucking farts in your face. You what know, is that? You show you his videos? this once plentiful source of calcium, but now all you're getting is this Guys, foul that's methodist of what once your was. Roast. It doesn't exactly work with the grandmother it. analogy, but you get the idea. It's, it's fucking, the well has run dry. He is still using a fucking fidget spinner in his video. It's, it's incredible. This man is the definition of insanity. So much so that I think even he's aware of it. He has Jared Leto's Joker tattoos on his body. Remember Jared Leto from the worst superhero movie ever, Suicide Squad? He had the worst Joker of all time. He had the ha-ha-has on his body. Yeah, in a Productions has those ha-ha-ha tattoos on him in, in reference to the Joker. It's, it's crazy to me. He's the embodiment of chaos. Well, no, he's the exact opposite. He's the embodiment of routine, but not a good routine. So, uh, I'm getting carried away. Let's just dive in. Let's take a look at his channel right now. As you can see, it is remarkably similar to how it was 22 months ago when I first checked on it, which was incredibly similar to how it was a year before that. It is remarkable. He is still using the exact same thumbnails, the exact same formula, everything. Same titles, still doing 3 a.m. challenges for whatever trendy mobile game yeah, scare is going the among us, elementary dude. schools. I just can't believe it. This is why I'm so impressed. Common sense would dictate at some point the human psyche can only handle so much of the Guys, exact what same is this thing mean, day after dude? day. Because he does this almost seven days a week. So he is constantly doing the exact same thing, constantly editing the exact same thing. I just, I don't know how he can handle it. If I spin this fidget spinner on this mini, mini mouse, so I just on this mini, mini mouse, for five seconds, you guys have to smash the like button. See you guys? Let's do this. Three, two, one, let's do this. One, two. And here's his most recent video, 22 months later. Let's see if we can spot any differences here. Spoiler alert, you won't spot any differences here. Guys, if I see this fidget spinner on one of these little go 
your balls for fight against you guys have to smash that like button you guys let's do this come on three two one let's go one two three four five boom now you guys have to smash the like button do you want to join my free gift cards giveaway subscribe to my channel like the video and turn notifications on this is weird though. It's it's just it's just kind of unsettling. Just boom, like guys, have to smash that like button right now. You wanna join my free gift card giveaway? <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, like the video. He's like Robin Williams coming out of Jumanji, confused on what year it is. He's still using a fidget spinner into 2020. I thought that shit had gone extinct. I thought there was a recall, and they got every fidget spinner in the world and threw it in the desert, like with Area 51 for the NES. It is Jesus. incredible to me. He's like caught in a time vortex. It is, I mean this in sincerity, oh, no, it is actually yeah, yeah, I'm impressed. Of and I think everyone knows who's Minnie Mouse, the girl version of Mickey Mouse. Back on the brand new video, I'm gonna do another banger. So guys, what did I do? We have a really, really insane video and I got, and it's about the ice cream man and the scary teacher together, all right guys? That's what actually happens, all right guys? Who does, who does <laughs> of course the scary teacher? Boom, this is the scary teacher, all right guys? The scary teacher. She doesn't look that scary to me. I could probably FaceTime her at 3 a.m. without having like a sodden apocalypse in my trousers about it. It's been another day, another banger for three years now. This Groundhog Day has persisted for a long time. Wait, and I didn't say a little bit more of it. You will? What did I do, guys? I was just trying to make them talk with each other. Yo, all right, guys, this is it. I have no idea what to do right now, all right, guys? And I'm absolutely so scared right now. I think it's them. Oh my God, guys, I think they actually came here. Yo, I just locked my door and they are just standing outside the door, alright guys? Yo, I'm just gonna end the video right over here and get some help, alright guys? So much to give. Big thumbs up. I didn't feel it was necessary to play too much of the video here because like I said, it is a carbon copy of every other video we made, including the ones I, I touched on 20- Okay. Oh, that was, that was unsettling. 